let's learn more about the processes of sedimentation and decantation so when a mixture of insoluble substances and water is kept undisturbed then what happens the insoluble substances are settled at the bottom so this is called sedimentation and when we separate this uh, liquid that is called decantation so we are going to see the processes of sedimentation and decantation the insoluble particle is called sediment and this water is called supernatant okay see and uh, this method is used to separate a mixture of a solid and a liquid whereas the solid component is actually heavy like this sand is heavier so it is settling at the bottom than the liquid now the question arises what is soluble so the substance which can dissolve in the liquid is called soluble and which cannot is called as insoluble now let's start the experiment of sedimentation and decantation so for that we'll need three glasses so you can take any transparent plastic glasses or glass glasses we'll need water and we'll need chalk so i'm going to make a powder of this chalk and then we are going to make the uh, solution and then we'll do the practicals we need some uh, more things for this so these are some plastic spoon which i got with the ice cream and this is a plastic in which i'm going to keep this uh, chalk and make it powder so let's do that and for making a powder i'm using a uh, duster you can use any other means this into the packet and now I'm making a pressing it and trying to make a powder see it is breaking and now I will break it more so that I'll just press it so that it may turn into powder okay so it will take some time but the powder will be formed you can see here so I'll make the powder as you can see the powder is ready now I'll take a glass Okay, then I'm going to pour the water in it and I'm going to mix the chalk powder. Here is a chalk powder we'll need. Here is a chalk powder. Now I'm taking the spoon here, taking the chalk powder, a very little amount, and mixing in the water. So as you can see the water turned green and I'll just wait for some time. Now let's see what happens. So you can see the particles are in the water. If you can clearly see the particles they are moving with the water but not mixing and in the bottom you can see the particles started settling so after some time we'll see what happens you can see now the dust started settling and we can see the clear water on the upper side yes so this is the downside is called sediments and the upper you know this clear water this clear water above this is called supernatant and the downside the chalk is called the sediment okay and this one this is the decanted water so i need to put a glass rod but i haven't put but it is the decanted or plain water okay now our chalk and water are almost separated so we will separate the mixture of water and chalk. So we are going to take this uh, empty bowl and slowly without disturbing we are going to put the water. You can see clear water is there. Pour down.
okay so you can see here now complete distinction is there so downside there is the chalk and the upper side there is clean water so this is called sedimentation and this way when we took out the water that is called decantation